Hello everybody. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how we can find outliers in a data set of observations. And in this case, we are going to use what is known as the IQR uh, method, the interquartile range method. So how does that work? Here we've got a set of data. For example, we observe the weight of some mice, let's say, and we want to know whether there are any outliers, anything special in this data set. And if we look at the data, we see that uh, there looks like uh, there's is an observation that doesn't really fit the data. So we want to see whether this is an outlier. And uh, then obviously we need to think about what we are going to do with this outlier. And this interquartile range method uh, is quite good of detecting outliers in data sets that are not necessarily normally distributed, but that are not particularly skewed. So if our data set is not very skewed towards one end of the distribution or an other end, then uh, it's, uh, we can use this IQR method. So it certainly is a good idea to check uh, with a sort of a box plot in the first place and test what a box plot looks like. And we know how we can do that. So we just simply highlight the cells, left mouse click, drag it down, go to insert. And here on the statistics bar, we go to box plot. And uh, we immediately see that we get our box plot here. And we also notice that there is this extra point here, which is outside our box plot and is in, uh, included here with this dot. And let's move this to the side. So this looks like uh, an outlier and uh, Excel correctly uh, identifies this as an outlier. So how would we do that if we were to calculate that? How would we identify this point here? We would determine the interquartile range of the data. And the interquartile range of the data is given as quartile 3 minus quartile 1. So basically, we are looking at the data point for quartile three minus the data point uh, what is in quartile one. And we can actually calculate that with the exile quartile function here. So that is the quartile function. And we can calculate the quartiles. So we said this first part here is the first quartile. We've got the second quartile. We've got the third quartile here and here that would be the fourth quartile. So we can calculate our first, second and fourth, first, second and third quartile quite easily. So one, two, three, these are the quartiles that we are going to calculate. And then we use this function here in order to determine the quartiles. So here it would be quartile and we choose the quartile that excludes the endpoints. So that's the quartile underscore execute, uh, exclude. And for the first quartile, we just simply take the array of the data, this one here, because we want to use that, we can press the F4 key on the keyboard because that will lock the cells. And I want this calculated for the first quartile. So this is number one here. And I get my first quartile. And now I just simply can drag down this field here. You see there is this black crosshair cursor in the right bottom corner. 
left mouse button clicked and I drag it down and I get my uh, quartiles here. And I can actually check that on my plot here, uh, if I'm going very carefully with the mouse cursor to the uh, series point one here, I see for the uh, first quartile this range would be 22.4. Now I can calculate my interquartile range here the IQR and that is very simple. I can calculate quartile 3 minus quartile 1. So IQR in this case equals quartile 3 minus quartile 1 and I will get a value of 14.95. And I can now calculate what is actually known as the Tukey's fence. I can calculate the fence for my outliers and the equation for that is for the upper fence it would be quartile 3 plus 1.5 times IQR so let's calculate that equals quartile 3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. That is what I just calculated. So that would be 59.775. And for the lower uh, two key fence, this is quartile 1 minus 1.5 times the IQR. That is this one here. And that is 0.0. .0 to five negative. So what does that mean? Well, it actually gives us the range that we would say if data points are in this range between negative 0.025 and positive 59.775, then we would not calculate them as outliers. So let's quickly indicate where this two keys fence are. So we have just a little bit under zero. So the lower fence, the lower two key fence would be here. The upper two key fence would be just a little bit under 60. So here, these would be the two key fences, TF, the upper, and here is TF, the lower fence. And anything that is outside these fences, outside these two key fences, we would consider as outliers. And very clearly, this data point here is an outlier. And therefore, we would need to think about what are we going to do with that. Uh, um, I would always be very careful with removing outliers because usually they tell you a story unless they are just simply a slip of the pen. So uh, it could very well be that instead of 100.1, I wanted to write 10.01. And uh, if I had written 10.01, then obviously this data point would be somewhere here. It would be within the two key fence, the lower fence. Um, and uh, I would not consider that as an outlier. If it was a slip of the pen, then I think it is fair to exclude outliers. But sometimes, as I said, they are going to tell you a story. So in this case, it could very well be that uh, if I look at the weight of mice, maybe this wasn't a mouse, maybe this was a rat or something like that, that I caught, but I didn't identify as a rat. And I only see it because it is an outlier in my data set. So I hope this makes sense. And thank you very much for watching.